A common mistake in SOLIDWORKS surfacing is trying to use a boundary surface to bound a two or three sided boundary or even a five or six or seven sided boundary. The boundary surface tool is specifically meant for a four sided boundary and I'm going to go ahead and show you why here. If I select these two items out you can see that it does indeed create a boundary. I can even choose end conditions such as the normal to profile. And in this case, I can also choose tangency to face or curvature to face because I have some hidden faces at the core of this part. But if you look at how that boundary surface is created, and I'll go ahead and add to the mesh density. This is a little bit easier to see. The surface is created in two directions, with splines going essentially perpendicular to each other until they come to this point. So what SOLIDWORKS is trying to do in this case is jam a four-sided surface into this two-sided boundary. Now this may look fine. It might even have curvature continuity and be a very good looking surface, but SOLIDWORKS can have issues working with this. For example, if I try to thicken this, you're going to see at the end that we have this artifact on both sides. And it's sort of a weird shape too, because SOLIDWORKS doesn't really know what to do with this corner since it has all of those splines converging in at one point. What we really want is for these to not converge and just be trimmed down to these points. And that's where the surface fill comes in. One of the limitations on the fill is that there's no normal to profile. So in order to get this end condition, of either tangency to face or curvature to face, you have to create extra surfaces, which is just one extra step of creating those extruded surfaces. Once you have those, we want to choose out the two boundaries. And you can see by looking at this mesh that it's doing the same thing as that boundary surface and coming into this point. And that's this optimized surface option here. It essentially tries to create a boundary surface where you create a fill. And that's exactly what we don't want in this case, as we want a four-sided surface, like we see in this case, that's trimmed back to our boundary. In this case, we get a pretty weird filled surface because of our geometry. This can either be fixed by creating constraint curves or simply changing these to curvature to face. Once you do that, you'll see a nice smooth surface. And now if I go to thicken this, you can see that edge is closed off nicely on both sides now. So keep that in mind when working with the boundary and fill tool. The boundary surface is for a four-sided enclosure. So if I were to draw four splines, the boundary would be perfect for that. And for two, three, five, six, seven-sided areas, you're going to want to use the surface fill.